Ink on Bitcoin. Inked on BTC. Ink on Bitcoin. This is the most hyped drop of 2024. So hyped, people are buying whitelist for $4,000 in every Discord. People are asking how to get whitelist, every post getting hundreds of thousands of views. In this video, we're gonna go over all the details on Income BTC and the main thing is the price prediction. That's what everyone wants to know, where it will go after Mint. So use the chapter down below if you just wanna skip straight over the background, the overview, all of that, and just get straight to that point. Now look, I need to say this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Please Please do your own research before moving in on the ordinals space. It's very risky and the price prediction itself, it's just a little bit of fun. Now, full disclosure, I do have a allow list for this project. So yes, I am pumping my own bag. So yeah, please keep that in mind as you're watching the video. So first up, their social media following is just absolutely insane. These are numbers that we saw back in 2021, 2022. They've got 120,000 plus followers. By the time you say this, it's gonna be most likely 130, 140, maybe even 150. The social media following is absolutely on point and they haven't been rushing this. They They've been taking their time in this lead up to the mint. Speaking of mint, what are the mint details? It is a supply of 10,000 with a mint price of 0 0.0058 Bitcoin. Now the collection is going to be inscribed on legacy sats, which is now recognized by Magic Eden. It will be launching on the Magic Eden launchpad. And when it comes to mint date, it is on the 28th of March. So first off, the artist is Joey Dodd. Now the art speaks for itself and the art direction speaks for itself. But when you actually get into the details, he's actually done some work professionally. So um, in a post that he put up in February of 2022, he goes, I was looking through some old comics I drew back in 2004 and found Marvel Age Hulk number one. And I was appalled at how bad my work used to be. And this was released in September of 2004. He's then gone on to pen a bunch of comics, including the Fantastic Four. Now, I think something that a lot of the space also appreciates is that it's not artwork that you're just seeing. There are lots of renditions and time lapses of the art being created. And I think this helps build that connection with the artist, which makes people feel like they trust it a little more as opposed to artworks that you see and the artist is hidden. They're not on Twitter, they're not active and you're not actually seeing any work. So you think that the art could actually be by someone off Fiverr or just hired and outsourced. And the fact that the artist is actually involved in the team, that does add to some legitimacy and authenticity. Now look, I could go on about the art, but I think it speaks for itself. The other crucial aspect of this and why the hype has built is the team around Joey that have been absolutely on point with their marketing. You've got Bruno, Zetman, Steven, and Frenchie that have been going absolutely hard on the timeline, engaging with a lot of people, but being very strategic with how they're doing their collaborations. They've made it incredibly hard and very tight to actually get these spots. They're not just throwing them around left and right. By doing this, it builds an air of exclusivity. And you know, if someone can't get something, they want it even more. Now let's get to the good stuff, the price prediction. What we're gonna do is we're gonna have a look at the past projects where they went from mint out, where they kind of ran up initially and give us an idea. So we've actually got some data to back up the claim of the price prediction and it should give us a more accurate representation. So first up is Quantum Cats. This minted at 0.1. BTC and on the mint day, it actually ran up to 0.35. It did run down as low as 0.15. So it started off high, had a dip down and then ran back up, which is a potential profit of 0.25. Now, Node Monkeys, this minted at 0.03. Now, this wasn't necessarily the mint day, it was like some, some of the days afterwards, but it ran up to 0.2 with a potential profit of 0.17. Now, with Pizza Ninjas, this minted at 0.03 and this ran to 0.12 quite aggressively on the day and then pulled back with a potential profit of 0.09. Now bangers, I've included this because this is when you started to get to more of the Ethereum style launches that we've seen before with a little bit of hype. This minted at 0.014. It did have a very small supply, so keep that in mind it ran to a 0.1 with a potential profit of 0.086. Now, McCann, this will make sense when we touch on the reveal mechanics later. This minted at 0.0088 and it ran to 0.011, so a potential profit of 0.0022. So when you, um, if we actually sort of strike out the McCann one and we actually ha just have a look at Bangers, Pizza Ninjas, Node Monkeys, Quantum Cats, and yes, I know there are other projects that have ran. These are just ones that are, we can actually get data on and I think just kind of, encapsulate it quite well. And what we can see here is the average is actually 0.149. So that's just taking in bangers, pizza ninjas, node monkeys, quantum cats in where they actually ran to afterwards. So this is what I think the 
it's the, it says the average, but Quantum Cats really does swing this up. Now with the mint price being 0.0058, it's just shy of $400, which seems like a lot for a mint, and yes it is, but when you actually have a look at some of what happens on ordinals and where they pump and where they go to, these, it almost seems essentially free for a mint um, if you've kind of played in the ordinals ecosystem. Now the supply is 10,000, so this may cap it a little bit. Now where I think the price will go afterwards is I think on a conservative side, I think a 0.09 is quite achievable. I think we would cap out at a 0.15. I don't think it's gonna go any higher than a 0.15, especially on that initial mint. If you kind of split the difference, you're getting a 0.012. I think that is a nice happy medium. What I think will happen though, is I think we'll start off at a 0.1, maybe a 0.12, um, there will be a sale around there. We will then see an aggressive pullback. I, see, I can see an aggressive pullback to around a 0.05, maybe down to a 0.035 or a 0.04, but I do think people will scoop back up, expecting it to hit just around that 0.09 to the 0.1 mark. What will then happen is after we then end up with a bit of a, re a reduction of supply coming to the market, so we see this aggressive V-shaped rebound, which we've seen before on multiple different things, just like Quantum Cats, I do see us running back up. The reason that I think we kind of cap out at around that 0.1 to 0.12 mark is 0.1 BTC is quite a lot. If you take out that initial 400 bucks, you're going a $6,000 profit is quite large. And when you convert that to what Ethereum is, it's just shy of a two ETH floor, which seems appropriate for something hyped. But then once you do kind of um, get past that, you are reducing the pool of people that can actually buy into the project because it's not just about floor price going up, it's also about people buying in to actually raise that floor price up. Now, another thing I wanna flag is the quality of buyer. So with their white listing or their allow listing, what they've done is they've gone out and hand selected quite a lot of them. They've reduced the amount of collabs that they've done and that can be a good or a bad thing depending how you look at it. But what this means is it means that you've got people that are grinding for those spots and that are placing all of this um, time and effort into that project and I'm not saying that they um, these people don't deserve it they 100% do deserve that spot but for some of these people when they're sitting in front of a potential $6,000 profit for them that may seem like it's very easy money to take off the table so you're very capped on the upside because you've got people that are willing to sell very quickly very easily when you have a look at where ordinals ran the reason Quantum Cats was able to run up that high is because 0.1 BTC mint, that is a very expensive mint. That's where you start. So you almost wipe out the amount of people that actually wanna get in on it in the first place. So it's a higher caliber of buy. It's a buy that has a lot more liquid that's able to move into it, which means that the price can run higher because the difference between 0.1 and 0.15 isn't that much for a buy that's willing to spend 0.1. But for someone that's willing to mint a 0.005 project, even if you 10X that, that's a 0.05, which is quite a big jump and quite a large gain, which can then mean that those people may not be willing to risk 10X above what the mint price was. And they may kind of see, hey, I've already made 10X, I've made 20X, I really wanna exit out now. Because when you look at it, $6,000 to someone in Southeast Asia can actually last months and months and it could actually be worth quite a lot. So that's where I can see a lot of sell pressure coming in and that's why I do think we're gonna see an aggressive pullback, but that's why I do see the capped upside. Now, the other thing that we touched on earlier was Macan. What Inked is doing is they're doing a reveal mechanism. Now, in the past with on Ethereum with reveal mechanisms, we've seen the likes of Mechaverse. That thing chugged along and it was holding quite a large floor price and it actually kind of almost rose up until you had the reveal and then obviously the just crash and dump afterwards. So similar thing with Hate Beast, as there was the reveal, it kind of chugged along, pumped up, as soon as the reveal dropped off. Uh, and then when you look at Invisible Friends, similar kind of deal, held up quite strong until you got the reveal. With um, Makan, what was interesting is before the reveal even happened, it started to waver in terms of floor price because this didn't really fit in with what ordinal buyers and traders wanted to do. Now, irrespective of the launch of Makan, how things worked and done all that, with the reveal mechanism on Bitcoin, we haven't seen enough of them to work out what the market thinks of them, how they actually price in the activity because reveal mechanisms on Ethereum work quite well and that's where the speculation comes in beforehand. But with the um, Bitcoin, people are usually like know what they're gonna get and they can trade them straight away and that's where a lot of the volume comes in. So this is going to dictate 
anticipate what happens over a, like a week long period as they kind of build up the reveal because I think that is it's an interesting mechanism but it's also um, uncharted territory when it comes to what happens within the price prediction. So yes, when it comes to price prediction, I do think 0.1 to 0.12 is the top end that we get. I do think we um, see a drawback to around that 0 0.05, 0 0.035, um, but then I do see it kind of having a fast V-shaped recovery. So yeah, that's just a little bit of fun, not financial advice. Don't throw your life savings at it. Don't do this. Um, it is very speculative and we don't know what's going to happen on launch day. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think the price prediction of ink on BTC is down below. If you enjoyed this video, go like it up, subscribe, all of that good stuff. I had a pleasure making this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.